Hello everyone and welcome to From Barrows to Best in Slot episode number 8. Last episode was about 5 months ago, so we have a lot to catch up on. We are starting today, ladies and gentlemen, with a Cerberus task. Current kill count 624 in this series so far. We've already managed to get the Pagasian two times over as well as the Primordial, but we are still yet to get the Eternal. This episode will be jam-packed with bossing and PVMing, so with all of that being said, let's get started with this Cerberus task. Here's our first kill coming up every single kill is 690 slayer xp as well as 110 prayer xp which not a lot of people mention when killing cerberus but we always make sure to scatter the infernal ashes this combined with all the insult head drops and the noted dragon bones makes this a pretty beneficial boss for all of my prayer xp that i need to get in the future and there's some key master teleports so we can get back here faster after we go ahead and recharge the arc light i have about 90 ancient shards in the bank so this should last for quite a few cerberus tasks other than that, I might try the arc light out at Sire, but mostly I just use it at Demonic Gorillas, which uh, seem to get those every single video, but we already have all of our Zenite jewelry unlocked. We just need one more Onyx. So for now, it looks like I'll just be putting the arc light to use at Cerberus, and I gotta say, for the most part, I really love the drop table here. Not only do you get prayer XP, as I mentioned before, but you also get decent XP for herb lore, as well as smithing and crafting, and of course, alkables, which always helps with a coin stack. Still have yet to get an Elite Clue Scroll or a Crystal in this tab but I really hope we get the Eternal. Once we get that Eternal Crystal, we're just going to go over to Maze Training Arena and do a few hours there to unlock Infinity Boots, and then we'll have Best in Slot Magic Boots, which is really nice because uh, I'm getting really tired of using Mystic Boots everywhere. All right, getting close to about 150 kills into the task so far for our first Elite Clue Scroll. For the most part, I can do most Elite Clues, but there are about four steps that I can't do, so hopefully that doesn't hold us back. All right, few Wilderness Steps, but we got the Casket, so we'll open all those up at the very, very end of the video. Video. We'll save all the tier caskets that I receive in this video for the end. There we have 750 Cerberus kill count. That's astounding to see on the Iron Man. I'm just so used to seeing high boss kill counts on my main that, uh, yeah, I'd really like to see the improvements on the Iron Man over time as well. Be nice to be a thousand Cerberus KC eventually. We might be able to hit that in this video if we get another task, but here we are, 800 kills in. Still no Eternal. We've had the Primordial and the Pagasian twice, and not even a duplicate in this task either, so that was a little painful. 170 29 Cerberus killed. No Eternal, but we do have an Elite Clue Casket and decent loot otherwise, so let's see what our next Slayer task will be. Alright, if it's a good task, I'll do it. If not, we're gonna go take a break and do some Zolra. Cave Horrors. Yep, we're gonna take a break and do some Zolra. Here we are, 965 KC. We're still missing the Magic Fang and the Serpentine Visage. I also need one more Onyx in order to create my Amulet of Torture, so a lot of reasons to do Zolra right now. I hope that we get something. I really don't want to see another Tanzanite Fang. It doesn't even uh, increase the bank value that much. You know, we have like four blowpipes. I think that's more than enough for now, so let's see how Zolra treats me today. We come back to this boss every episode, and it's yet to be generous. Well, it's debatable. I mean, I think I've gotten some pretty good drops, just not the ones that I need right now. So we're about to be a thousand kill count. We'll see if we have any luck before we hit that number. And if not, we'll just keep on powering through. Bank space is still a struggle on the Iron Man. Always maxed out. Always have to drop things that I just don't want to drop. But here we are, 980 kills. I really love Zolra. I just always have loved it on any account that I do it on. All right, KC982, Magic Fang, ladies and gentlemen. There we have it, finally being able to upgrade the Trident of the Seas into the Toxic Trident of the swamp or something like that. It's incredible to see guys. This is huge for me. What an upgrade. I'm not only going to be able to hit higher, but this thing just looks so much more appealing to the eye compared to the Trident of the Seas, that blue stick. Oh man, we're going to go ahead and charge this up. So the only difference now is we're going to be recharging him with Zolra scales instead of coins, which is great because I'm always slacking the coins, but I have more than enough scales. I think we got like 300,000. Now we just need a Serpentine Visage and one more Onyx, and then I don't have to come back here for a very long time. Almost 1,000 KC. It's a great milestone to be at, um, but uh, unfortunately, we got a duplicate already. A 998 KC, the second Magic Fang. I will happily take that. Always good to have two instead of one. We might possibly lose this uh, trident one day, so that might come in handy. Either way, though, here is a beautiful, crisp 999 KC. You guys thought that'd be 1,000. It's not. It's just a crystal key. But finally, at long last, it's another boss that we've hit 1,000 KC 
KCN. I don't actually think I've hit 1,000 KC in any boss yet, so that's the first, uh, and soon to be the second will be most likely Cerberus. I just love using these anti-venoms here, as well as the new and upgraded trident of mine, always getting like two-minute kills or just a little bit below that, a little bit above it sometimes if the RNG isn't in my favor, but ladies and gentlemen, the RNG is definitely in my favor today. Serpentine Visage already. I mean, we're not even 50 kills in, and we've already gotten the two most important items that I need for this best in slot series. Now we have the Serpentine Helmet. That is such a good strength and defense helmet to have for PVMing, anti-PKing, and anytime I wear it anywhere else in game, I can never get poisoned. So I might actually bring it to Zora. But there we have it, guys. The Trident of the Swamp, the Magic Fang, and the Serpentine Helmet. This is just a few of the items that I've gotten in this series. A full inventory worth. What a journey it's been. All right, let's get a new Slayer task. We got Sukwa's Sukwa, however you pronounce it, but we really need a Smoke Devil task for the Occult Necklace. I never have any Slayer points because I'm always canceling tasks, just trying to get assigned Smoke Devils one time for that Occult Necklace, and I'm almost a whole Slayer level without a single assignment of them. Oh, now we got Worms, so let's go ahead and do that. Just a basic AFKable task. I don't really want to use a Blowpipe here, so I'll just go with a Whip and a Prayer setup. You do get Superiors from Worms, so there's always the opportunity to get lucky there, but unfortunately I didn't get any luck with any Superiors during this task, uh, but you know, there's just the Worms drop table in general is not too bad. A little bit of Alkables and whatnot, but but uh, yeah, that task was quickly completed, and now we're going to go get another one. Hope for something good. We're looking for smoke devils. And what do we get? superior creatures. Wow, I really need to block those. Uh, luckily, I can cancel this task just once, so hopefully our next one will be manageable. And it is Chad. Well, that's a free skip. Alright, our next one is 181 Hellhounds. Back to Cerberus. Alright, now two Cerberus tasks so far in this video. Gonna go ahead and use some more Arc Light Charges. Basic setup here. I just use Taverly Teleport Tablets and six prayer potions, sometimes seven if I'm feeling up to it, and one super combat potion. You guys already know what we need here, so I won't speak much of it. I will say, though, that I hope you guys are enjoying the video, and sorry it took five months for this one to come out. As you guys know, a lot of upload obligations, and this series takes a lot of time, so I was really happy to finally be able to have a little bit of time this month to invest into this one, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I didn't want to put any sponsor in this to interrupt it or anything like that, so if you could click that like button or comment below anything, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Always good to see more Elite Clue Scrolls. We've managed to get another clue casket just in this task and unfortunately I wasn't able to complete that second elite but there's 900 kill counts so far looks like I predicted right about hitting a thousand KC in Cerberus but it looks like this task won't get us there it'll get us pretty close though gotta recharge that arc light good thing I have all those ancient shards in the bank but it's gonna be a very sad day when I run out of them that's for sure took me many many years of AFKing monsters in the catacombs to get all those shards 950 Cerberus man where is my eternal this is taking a long time. I guess it's better to go dry on the Eternal than the Primordial, seeing as I use melee so much more often than I use magic, but I still want my Eternal. Uh, another elite clue, though. Can't complete most of them recently, but I will keep trying. I really want to get uh, some uniques from Clue Scrolls on top of uniques from bosses, but here's another kill. I almost died here. This is what happens when you AFK at Cerberus, but uh, it paid off. Primordial Crystal, 31.6 mil. What a beautiful glow on the ground. What color is that, would you say? Looks like a mauve to me, but but yeah, it's not an eternal, but I mean, who's not going to be happy with a primordial? You know, Pagasian's so lame, primordial, always awesome, no matter if you're an Iron Man with 10 of them or 100 of them or none of them. Another task completed, guys, 181 Cerberus done. No eternal still, but that's okay. We're going to come back and hey, I mean, we might get the pet before we get the eternal. Anything can happen. Let's go ahead and create our second pair of primordial boots, you know, just in case I lose the first. Always nice to have duplicate primordials. All right, now that the task is completed, our next one is 136 Bloodveld. I don't have enough points to skip it, so hopefully I get lucky from a superior. I love the look of these superiors. They're very unique compared to other superior monsters out there. Also, I think I mentioned earlier that I got a superior creatures slayer task. It was actually supposed to be spiritual creatures slayer task, so I, I stand corrected. But with that being said, our task is now completed. I didn't kill the ones in the catacombs, and what a shocker, I got more spiritual creatures. God, that deserves all the crying emails emotes, but uh, yeah, I mean, I got here, there was a newbie here, and other than that, I was just going to blowpipe this task. I promise you next uh, episode, I'm going to block these so that we never have to do this 
awful task ever again in the history of my Iron Man runescaping career. As we wish our fellow Iron Man good luck, we're going to get a new task of 248 Abyssal Demons. Now, I have never done Sire on this account, and I don't really have a reason to go kill normal Abyssal Demons. So in other words, let's do some Sire. We're going to bring out the Blowpipe, the Arc Light, the Shadow Barrage, the Blood Barrage, everything in between. We're going to start the kill by throwing two Shadow Barrages at him. Then I'm just going to go ahead and go for the uh, respiratory systems to the right and then I'll go ahead and shadow barrage him again and I'll go for the respiratory systems on the left and then we put on the melee gear and we start our kill. As time consuming as this is, I want to do this whole entire task here. We're not going to leave no matter what, no matter how challenging it is and honestly our first kill was not that bad. We actually got a hard combat achievement done and we should be very close to getting a slayer level. As a matter of fact, there's 94 slayer officially gone 93 to 94 slayer without a single smoke devil task. That is just not right. Where's my occult necklace? But hey, one more level and then we can kill Hydra, so that'll be some awesome footage in the near future. Looks like I'll head back to Konar uh, soonish, but either way, uh, getting all sorts of combat achievements done at Sire. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I did 10 hours of Abyssal Sire on my main account about a year ago, and I think I managed to get 8 unsireds in a span of like 2 tasks. It was just some of the most insane luck, so I hope to see similar luck on my Iron Man, because it would just be so cool to unlock a bludgeon uh, or even Abyssal Dagger. I don't have that yet, and it would make for a decent strength weapon. So one thing I just don't want to see is an Abyssal Whip because we have close to 20 of them in the bank, and I definitely don't want an Abyssal Head because I already have one on this account, and I think I have like six on my main. So if we can get anything but those two items from our first Unsired, then I'll be pretty happy. All right, here's our 80th kill. The drop rate is 1 in 100 for the Unsired, so 20 more, and then we'll be at the drop rate. Some kills go better than others, obviously, but uh, Blood Barrage is what keeps me alive here if things aren't going my way. There we have 100 kills overall. Getting much better at Sire, especially with this gear setup, but the kills are still very long. Zero drops, uh, but that keeps the motivation high, not low. We want to see our first Unsired. You never know what you can get from it. For now, though, I'll have to settle for chili potatoes, but let's go ahead and take a break. Put 1.7 mil GP into my kingdom. I wanted to get 100% activity or whatever you call it, favor, as well as just check on it. So there's uh, herbs and both teak and mahogany logs. That will come in handy for the future 99 construction grind. Well, there's another 20,000 amethyst darts into the blowpipe. I somehow completely ran out of the first 20,000, so all right then. 140 Abyssal Sire KC. We are back at it. Still not taking a break from this task other than to check on the kingdom. I really love the drop table here, and honestly, I envy anyone who camps this boss. Uh, if you have over a thousand Sire KC, you are just incredible. I think I have like 1,500 on my main, so uh, one day I'll match that on the Iron Man, but for now, I become a temple. I become one with the sire. I just want to run around and be this wooden I don't know. It must be some graphical glitch, but I uh, put on my gear and it's fixed. Well, I'm really impressed that I actually stayed here as long as I did. 200 kills without an unsired. What is going on, man? This, man, this is taking so much time and I have nothing to show you guys for it. What do you want to see? Some unnoted super restores? Oh, okay, there we have it. 214 KC. It took a while for that, but there's our unsired, guys. Let's go ahead and high out it for 84k GP. Nah, I'm just kidding. Where's the pool? Let's go ahead and throw this in the pool. What are you guys thinking here? What are you guys thinking, huh? Dagger? Pet? What are we gonna get? Let's see. Oh, the head. Hi, uh, thanks, Jag. Yeah, I don't need this, so, uh, yeah, I'll just put it in the bank, and we'll, uh, get another unsired some other time. I don't know if we're gonna get one in this task. It's coming to a close here. 230kc overall, but, I mean, I don't have any regrets about this one. I got so many alkables in this, and uh, a lot of experience as well in Slayer. I think a total of 160,000 just in this task alone, and it got me about 100 Slayer points overall. Downside is, took about two days. That's all right. Time's just an illusion. All right, new task coming in. Brine rats. No thanks. We're going to go ahead and cancel that with the minimal amount of points we have for cave kraken. I love cave kraken, but I don't want to do it because I just don't need to right now. All right, spiritual creatures. Yeah, probably should have done the kraken. We're going to cancel those and we get black demons. I mean, all right. I already have all my zenites, so I'll tell you what. By the end of this kill, I'll make up my mind if I want to do this task, and uh, you know what? I don't want to do this task, so I'm going to go ahead and take a break from Slayer, and we're going to go do a little bit of wilderness bossing featuring none other than Calvarion. I've killed this boss 400 times, and I'm still missing the Skull of Vedion, the Void Waker Blade, the Ring of the Gods, and the pet. Uh, the pet's probably not going to happen, but everything else definitely can happen, and I need all of those items 
for this series. I want to upgrade everything and anything I can get my hands on. So hopefully we'll get the Void Waker Blade here, and then we'll go on RTO and complete it. All right, our first kill coming up, KC401, and look at that, Skull of Vedion. That is, okay, what are we getting Tully blocked for? Can I not have a moment to celebrate? What a absolute salad warrior piece of trash. Looks like they got that new crossbow too. Isn't that thing meant for like a hack or something like that? He's using that on me. All right, we're going to use a ZGS on him. We'll see how he likes that. Hiya! 54 to the face. Ice barrage block all over him. What is this guy think he's doing? He is not going to make this moment his. He's not. I'm not going to let him. We're going to make him teleport in shame. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we will bank our Skull of Edeon. Oh, that's what happens when I get a Skull of Edeon drop. What's going to happen when we get that Void Waker? All hell will break loose. All right, let's go ahead and actually combat these PKers better. We have to make some Dragonstone Bolts enchanted. I don't think Diamond Bolts is going to scare anyone off, even that Salad Warrior. This on top of the fact that I want to upgrade my Nezzy helmet to a Serpentine helmet. I just unlocked this thing. Why not put it to good use? All right, seven kills in. We got our second PKer. This Void Waker grind is going to be tough, but uh, it's all right. We have a pretty good offensive setup now. This person uh, definitely has better gear than the Salad Warrior did, but maybe if we get our vengeance timed right and a nice whack with a ZGS, we'll get them to teleport. And it worked. All right, perfect. Now, other than that, if I can't really combat them, I have to log out. So there's always that method too. For those of you who missed it, around two or three episodes ago at Calvarion, I decided to skull up and I lost my Ring of Suffering. So I had to go get that back. And it's a good thing I did because it is doing work on this PKer right here. Boom, that 51 to the head. Let's go for another one. Hiya! Oh, they teleported. All right, never mind. But we almost killed him. One of these days we'll get a kill on this account. All right, an elite clue scroll, 45 kills into the grind. I'll probably just end up doing 100 kills here. I had to drop that elite because I don't have a Bob shirt unlocked. Who has a Bob shirt on an Iron Man? Come on. Other than that, though, the uh, drops here stay very consistent. I love them. They're just every single thing that I've killed in this video so far is so good for any Iron Man account. Just helps out so much with skilling. But looks like we have another PKer, so let's try and take this guy down. All right, all swamp bark, uh, brimstone boots. This guy has no idea what he's doing and that's saying something because i don't know what i'm doing all right we're gonna go in for the spec we got him frozen here the stacks are gonna come from calvarion the god sword's gonna do its job as well come on he's so low right now one big 40 and the stack we got him ladies and gentlemen oh he did not know what hit him if it's not the rune crossbow it is that zgs it is so deadly and this guys is why we enable loot keys on the iron man just because i can't claim the reward on this account doesn't mean that i can't get it on another account so we bring out the main for that and we go ahead and claim the key cash it in for an astounding 2.8 mil who the heck needs 4,000 smoke runes to PK with? What are you doing? Not at my Calvarion. Here we are back at it. And there's 500 kills overall. Still no Void Waker, but I'm really happy that I got the skull. I've killed Calvarion 1,500 times on my main, and I've never gotten the skull on him. So that was nice. But now it's time for RTO. Maybe I'll test my luck here. I love the variety of this series. It's one of the most enjoyable things about it. So the fact that we can just keep jumping around boss to boss makes the thumbnails a little tricky to make. But uh, as it goes for the content i think you guys enjoy it too so yeah we're just going to use a pretty uh basic setup here magic short bow with the armadillo chest plate and to anti pk we'll bring the zgs as well we're starting with 200 rto kills we'll probably just do a solid 100 and see what happens but you're about to see why i love the zgs for anti pk this guy's on me right now and the goal is to get rto to be next to him so that he can just continue to attack the pk -er while i attack him so essentially i got rto frozen right next to this guy and now the damage Damage will stack up. Here we go. 2418. He's so low. We just need to follow these MSB hits up with a ZGS spec. Come on. All right, it's time. Hiya! All right, look at that stack. 21 with the MSB and then the ZGS spec to follow it up. We didn't even need the assist from RTO at the end there. But man, he sure helped out in the beginning. 8.1 million GP from that kill. Oh man, I am just so happy to be anti PKing on my Iron Man account. All credit to that golden mystic hat, you know, gives me some good luck with those PKers and even better luck with RTO. Void Waker Hilt, ladies and gentlemen, we got two out of three of the void waker pieces what was it like 20 kc at spindle and now 240 at rto oh i feel like they're gonna make me work for it at calvarion but that's okay guys we're gonna be doing that next episode we're gonna complete that void waker no matter how long it takes all right let's go ahead and open up the clue scrolls from this episode black beret and a black plate body from the easy one 
drop those fire lighters. From the medium, we obtain another brown headband. That'll be good for uh, future clue steps, as well as some pest control teleports. And from the one hard clue casket, blue D high chaps G, not too much to show for that. But from the elite, another unique deer stalker this time with some useful lunar teleports. And from the final elite, 82k. Well, that is it for now, guys. We obtain the Magic Fang, the Serpentine Helmet, and a piece of the Void Waker, as well as the Skull of Edion. A huge thank you to the YouTube channel members, with a special shout out to Deception Z, X Exotic X, and Let Us Attack. Until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.